Located on the south shore of Vancouver's Burrard Inlet, Centrum Port handles cargo for some of the world's largest shipping lines. Over the past few years, Centrum has made significant investments in infrastructure, equipment, and technology. It is now one of the most sophisticated terminals on the West Coast. Their ambitious $155 million upgrade is set to improve capacity, efficiency, and customer service. They will have the ability to handle 435,000 containers per year, up from 160,000 just a few years ago. In partnership with Fraser River Pile and Dredge, PBA Engineering, and P&O Ports, Hool Electric was contracted to build a significant portion of the new electrical and data infrastructure. Most notably, Hool played a critical role in the berth expansion part of the project. Hool Electric was responsible for running cable to all 16 of the terminal's new vaults. What made this particularly challenging was the sheer distance that needed to be covered. It also required an incredible coordination effort with other contractors. Hool installed all the electrical distribution equipment inside the vaults. They also designed and installed custom enclosures and pull boxes. Hool Electric brought high voltage power to the crane and berth operations and low voltage power to all other requirements including lighting, welding power and shore power. Hool was also responsible for pulling all fiber optic cable through the berth. Ultimately, Hool Electric installed over 156,000 feet of cable on this project. Hool installed all the new electrical panels as well as transformers, sump pumps and ground bus bars. They also completed the massive project of all electrical grounding for the port. This included grounding of the power system, the crane and rail systems, and cathodic grounding of all exposed material to prevent rust. Under extremely tight deadlines, Hool completed hundreds and hundreds of both high and low voltage terminations. The most notable task completed by Hool was the installation of the Cavotec Panzer Belt. It is a sophisticated cabling trench that protects the crane's power cables against the heavy traffic of the terminal. What made this project so challenging was the tolerance or allowable margin of error was only 3 millimeters. End to end, the trench was 620 meters in length. Experienced project manager Jonathan Lashin played a significant role in the success of this project. He ensured timely delivery of all cabling materials and infrastructure components. He did so on time and on budget, despite ever-changing construction plans and schedules. Furthermore, Jonathan helped to engineer several custom pieces for this highly unique and complex project. Project foreman Barry Simpson had the most challenging of tasks. Barry communicated with countless other contractors and foremen, interfacing on many of the terminal's interrelated projects. He made sure Hool was contributing their maximum team effort while also ensuring Hool's quality workmanship throughout. The number one priority for management at Centrum was to keep the terminal open and fully operational during the entire construction process. In fact, Centrum moved a record 202,000 containers during the year in which the berth expansion construction was taking place. Andrew Mazarose, facilities manager for Centrum, says, When I tell people what we accomplished, keeping the port operational all the while, they almost don't believe me. In order to keep our port open, we made a significant number of design changes along the way. When you attempt something like this, you really must have your Stanley Cup team playing for you. Without question, the team from Hool Electric were star players. There were a number of other projects happening in tandem with the expansion of the berth. A large construction project was also taking place in the terminal's yard. Many of the yard projects were contingent to the berth's expansion, especially where electrical installation was concerned. Hool was tasked with running temporary power to the new cranes from the existing substation. Upon completion of the new substation in the yard, Hool rerouted all power to the cranes from the new substation. They did so keeping all cranes operational in the process. Furthermore, in the middle of construction, the voltages for the cranes, as well as their position on the berth, were changed. This required Hool to reconfigure and reroute the cables mid-project. All in all, it was a massive exercise in coordination, 
communication, teamwork, and integrity in order to meet the client's exceptionally demanding requirements. Huo completed several projects requiring custom electrical designs. For example, the main plugs for the cranes were required to fit into very small spaces, be resistant to corrosion, and be watertight. To meet the terminal's requirements, Huo sourced and custom assembled a plug used in the mining industry. The burst bull rail boxes, which provide power to maintenance crews, were adjusted to withstand enormous force. Should the box come in contact with a ship or an anchor? The cable cassettes, which align and relieve tension from the crane's cable system, were also modified. These 10-foot galvanized structures were custom ordered from the eastern United States. All conduit beneath the berth was made of fiberglass. Huell custom designed the brackets to hold the conduit as well as the expansion joints. A large part of this project was to pull a significant amount of cable through the new extended platform of the berth. The platform was built with pre-assembled rebar cages. Hool's electricians were required to crawl inside the confined spaces, a time-consuming and physically demanding task. Another challenging aspect of this project was its proximity to water. Exceptional safety measures and creative solutions were required. The crew was frequently working directly over the water or on barges beneath the berth. Huell also ensured that all construction debris and waste materials were contained so as not to affect the sensitive marine environment below. Huell played a key role in Centrum's aggressive plan to increase its container capacity. Not only was timely and successful completion of the project important to Centrum, but it was also of great benefit to the Canadian economy. For every container that is processed at Centrum adds $1,200 to our country's GDP. Furthermore, Huell was instrumental in keeping the port completely operational throughout the entire berth expansion project. Huell Electric is the proud recipient of Vancouver's Regional Construction Association's Silver Award for its work on the Centrum project. As stated by Robert Lashin, President of Huell Electric, this award-winning project is a true testament to our passion for teamwork and customer service. Our team demonstrated incredible ingenuity and flexibility in the face of an ever-changing construction schedule and extremely tight deadlines. I'm very proud of Huell's Centurm team.